What's up guys, Jesus Messi here, welcome to a brand new video. And today, we've got a squad around a Man of the Match card that came out last week, but I've noticed normally people have made videos about him and some of you may be interested to see how good he really is. That's going to be the Man of the Match, Alibed from the Saudi Pro League guys. So as always, if you smash 1,000 fire likes, that'd be absolutely awesome. And if you would my channel, click the subscribe button for more. So the formation we're going today is going to be the 4-3-2-1. The reason for this, I'm a massive fan of 4-3-3 variants. And the 4-3-2-1 just seems like the right wing and left wing are kind of like inside forwards and that support the strikers. So the goalkeeper today, start with a silver one. That is going to be Alfonso Ariola. I think that's how you say his name from Villarreal. A very goalkeeper. 6 with 3. Very nice stats. And um, just a nice silver card that I, everyone knows. I like my silver cards. And it definitely comes into a good category. Right back, we have got a silver. DeAndre Yedlin. Very, very pacey. 93 pace. You can have any right back from the BPL in this. So if you're a fan of gold, uh, get like an upgraded Hector Bellerin, Cole Walker, anyone like that. And this guy has got bags of pace, like I mentioned, with 93 air uh, for him. Centre back, right centre back, we've got Nicholas Otamendi. And this is the first time I've used this year and I'm really impressed. I absolutely loved this card last year and this year of course is in the BPL and he's now got 75 pace, 86 defending and 82 physical. He's 6 foot tall and uh, he's the shorter of the centre backs I've got. The left centre back is going to be this guy, Rafael Varane and um, this card's absolutely fantastic as well. I was using this man of the match card uh, but I kind of forgot to add it in uh, as I was actually building the squad but 80 rated for him and he's got 79 pace, 84 defending, 76 physical and he's just an absolute monster. I mean being 6 foot 3 he definitely has that height advantage uh, over my, uh, most players in the game. At left back we have got Jordi Alba of FC Barcelona. And just like a majority of the players in this squad, he is very, very quick and 92 pace. His squad is very quick overall, and there's not many slow players, if any, uh, whatsoever. Uh, he's pretty good, him. But now we're going to the midfield trio. First up, we've got a team of the year, Andres Iniesta. The only one I managed to pack myself as a first owner. And um, I absolutely love this guy. 98 passing, 96 dribbling. And honestly, I used to think um, that the higher the passing stat, it really didn't make much of a difference. But this guy, he doesn't really misplace any passes. He's got a 99 short passes in game, and I think 99 vision, hence why he doesn't really give the ball away whatsoever. But again, first center for him, 16 assists and 4 goals in 29 games. I've only ever used him at center mid, and he'd probably be an absolute killer uh, at center attack midfield. Right center mid, we've got one of my favorite silvers for the last two years, Bruno Zuccolini. He gets a high playing to Nicholas Otamendi, and he's just around 4,000 coins, but I've had him a long, long time now, and he contributed a fair amount in this team. I know it's 37 games, 4 goals, 9 assists, but a lot of them goals and assists actually were in this squad alone. He's 6 of tall, very nice where I were on his stats. I think now he's playing in Greece, I think it is, for AEK Athens, and uh, the middle center mid, we've got a Saudi Arabian player, Al Jassim, and this guy's really fun to use. He seems like a very nice player on the ball, 74 pace, 79 during, 72 physical, and a 76 passing, and we'll top that with 71 shooting, so a very tidy player, and the, the midfield isn't very tall, but honestly, I didn't find that a problem whatsoever, but now we've got the front three of dreams, and um, I didn't realize how good the Saudi Pro League really was, uh, but I may have to use a whole squad just from that league alone, but we're going to start off with a right forward, a five-star skiller, Salem Al Dossari, this guy, before I wasn't really very impressed with him, but in this squad, he absolutely killed it. Scored some very nice goals. He's very, very quick, great dribbling, good physical, and is an absolutely fantastic player. I'd love if he managed to get like an inform card, it'd be absolutely awesome. But now we're going to the left forward, just going to the man of the match card, uh, Alabed. I haven't used his normal card in this FIFA. Actually, I think I might have, but can't remember how good he was. But either way, he got five assists in one goal in five games. And I mean, he didn't score many, but the assist is really, really nice. He cost me 260,000 coins. So if you haven't got the coins, just get his normal card. The same goes for Iniesta. If you can't get his team this season, you can even get likes of Sergio Roberto who's a lot cheaper and there's a few other options in the squad but I definitely recommend building it but out of bed a, a nice man match card I think as soon as I bought him for 260 he dropped to like 180 but either way I'm definitely going to keep him as it's a nice rare card and striker probably this this is a strange one probably my favourite or if not one of my like say top 3 players on FIFA 16 just look at that goal to game ratio that's against full goal teams and everything like that as well 15 games 36 goals and 2 assists and uh, for around I think it's like 18k right now this is an absolute steal he's known as being the Syrian Ibrahimovic I mean 6 foot 4 4 star skill means 4 star weak foot a lot of people are put off by that 67 dribbling but honestly I've had no problem with that whatsoever and some of the goals I scored with him are absolute bangers so very impressive him a uh, great great player and his team this season if he gets one will definitely be like Zlatan Ibrahim which would be absolutely sick and very cheap as well so that is the team let's get straight into clips so now we move on to the goals I got with this team. The very first one is actually quite a nice one. A sombrero flick onto a looping header from Al Dasari. That was initially supposed to be a bicey, um, but it turned out to be a nice header. And that was followed by a very nice goal from Zuclean. So banging fish onto the post and in. So this team, I come against a lot of high rated teams, um, including a lot of BPL sweat teams that had the likes of Mbemba and I think it's like Mika Richards at the centre back. But they've done very well. I think I've played 6 and um, 1 6 or played 5 1 5. And um, it's just one of the teams I absolutely love. And that, that right there is honestly one of the best goals I think I've ever 
ever scored this FIFA and it's so well played and that volley from Al Sommer it's just absolutely like perfection he can do absolutely everything there's a free kick coming up in a moment where he absolutely levers it and it's like kind of one of them similarities he has to Zlatan Ibrahimovic you might have already seen it actually um I'm not sure if I've shown the free kick or not, but like I said, it destroyed very good teams, and I just absolutely love playing with it. Um, the, if you want to get a cheaper version, that's the free kick, by the way. Absolute banger uh, from our summer. But if you want to get a little bit cheaper, swap out Iniesta, uh, swap out what ones have we got? We got uh, the, the Man of the Match card, and also our summer. So them three special cards, switch them out for normals or even a cheap alternative like Sergio Roberto. Um, you save yourself essentially like a million odd coins and uh, get this team for a near enough discard value. And if you get it for discard value, you're going to have a, a, a hell of a time with it because I don't really feel like there's any uh, negatives about it because there there is like Al Summers dribbling by the way he's dribbling so damn close to him and despite saying 67 dribbling I don't understand how it is that low when it performs in game so well because it should technically 67 dribbling is what I moan at um the likes of, I think, Chris Morning has like 50-odd. And there isn't much of a difference there. Really, the ball should be bobbling off him a lot. I didn't find that at all. Uh, so for me, definitely is a, uh, the Syrian Ibrahimovic. And I'm just going to... I'm looking forward to that team of season card. It'll be really, really good. And hopefully pretty damn cheap is this is probably my go-to team um i've got a lot of teams now on fifa that i enjoyed that much that i just kind of keep all the players and they'll uh, resort back to it if i decide to ever get bored of fifa and that that could be the case uh, in the next couple of weeks and also one one of the probably the most surprising players team was al dasari at first when i used him i was like mm, he's pretty bad and this came team team <laughs> this team he absolutely killed it and was uh, a massive success on that right forward role guys so enjoy this video smash the like button 1000 followers likes be absolutely awesome if you're to my channel class subscribe button for more and i'll leave you with a final goal guys so thank you for this video and i'll see you next time